Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra Unit 9.1 Notes, video number two. If you stumbled on this by accident, you should go back and watch the first video because now we're going to talk about the back page of your notes. So before we get started with the bottom part, let's review these three different types of equations that we've already talked about in class. So first one is quadratic equations. And if you notice, that graph is in standard form. So we're going to talk about two different ones. So I'm going to copy and paste that and put it right here. And we're actually going to be talking about two types for each one. So if you want to go ahead and put two for both of those, you can go ahead and do that. So first we talked about was quadratic, okay? Quadratic graphs were in the shape of a parabola. If it was rising, it looked like that. And if it was falling, the parabola faced down, okay? So we either had it facing up or facing down. Now, with exponential equations, we talked about two different ones. We talked about exponential growth. And exponential growth, it started really, really low, and then it came up. It's like it almost, almost touched zero. It never did. And then it shot up really, really fast. And then there was exponential decay, which was the exact opposite, where it started up really high, but then it came down, and it almost came to zero, but it just never quite made it. Okay? So we had the quadratic equations, we talked about exponential growth and exponential decay, and then we have linear equations, which was the y equals mx plus b, and the same thing, they're either rising, or it was falling. And that all depended on the slope. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to graph each equation. We're going to identify if it's a linear, exponential, or quadratic, as well as its domain and range. Okay? So looking at number seven, what is the slope? Remember, y equals mx plus b. So our slope is 2 over 3, okay? And that means up to right 3. Our y-intercept was this part in the back, and that's 0, 4, okay? Let's go ahead and graph this. So we start at 0, 4, and then we go up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3, and we're going to continue that pattern all the way across. And once we're done, we're going to draw our line. There we go. And now that tells me what type of equation this is. Okay? This is linear. Now, for this linear equation, what's our domain? Okay, remember, domain is our x values, and that's from left to right. Okay, from left to right, there is no beginning, there is no end. So this is all real numbers, okay? Now, the range, the range we talked about was our y values, and that's talking about up and down. So does it have a specific beginning or an end going up and down? Because it looks like it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And when that happens, it's all real numbers. All right. Eight. Type of equation. Just by looking at it, look to see where the variable is. I might have forgotten to mention that at the very top, but that matches an exponential equation. 
Okay. So the type it's exponential. Okay. So when we're doing exponential, we're going to plug in three numbers. I want to plug in a negative, zero, and a positive, and that's going to show us what's going on. It's going to show us the type of graph. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Some of these you might be able to do in your head, but I just want to make sure you know, remember how to do it on your calculator. So three raised to the negative one is 0.3333333 repeating. And if you want to see that as a fraction, type, make sure you get it as a fraction. It's one third. Okay. Now this next one you should be able to do in your head because you're when your exponents to your row, your base turns into. Oh, I forgot to put it in. When your exponent zero, your base turns into one. Okay. And then to the first power, three to the first power, something else that you should know when it's one, it's going to be that number. Okay, so we're going to do our best job at graphing this. At one, at zero, we're at one. At one, we're at three. And then at negative one, we're at point three. So if you were to graph this, it would look something like that. Okay, now to be specific, this is exponential growth because from left to right, it's getting bigger. Now, our domain, that is, whoops, all of our x values. So we're gonna do the x. Now, as we go to the left with our x, is there an end to it? What about as we go up? Is it going to keep going up and over? Yeah. So there is no beginning and no end that we can see. So that is all real numbers. Now, let's look at our range, our y. So our y is our up and down. And just look at that. Does it ever, ever, ever touch zero? It never does, but how high does it go? Well, I don't know how high it goes, do you? No, but I know for one thing, it has to be greater than zero just by looking at the graph. So we would say that Y is greater than zero. It's not greater than or equal to because it never touches. Okay. All right. And number nine, our quadratic. Now. This is in vertex form already for us, so we just finished graphing this, so you should be able to do it. Remember, for the vertex, we take the opposite, and this stays the same. So the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3, and then 2. Okay? We go two numbers below and two numbers above. I want you to pause the video and see if you can figure out the rest of those numbers. That should be a review for you guys. Good luck. Okay, there you go. Now, you should know what type of equation this is already. Well, how should I know that, Mr. Grice? Well, one, we just did a unit on it, and two, the variable tells you, okay? Or the exponent. This is a quadratic. That makes a parabola, which is what we're going to graph right now. So our vertex is 3, 2. So 3, 2. And then we have the point 2, 3. And the point 1, 6. And I'm going to do those same points on the other side. And I'm going to graph the parabola. And draw those beautiful arrows that says it keeps going and going. Now, let's get specific with this. Let's get our domain on. What is it? Now, it might look like it's uh, 0 to 6. 
It, seriously, that's what it looks like. However, you got to remember, as this graph goes up, it's also going to get wider and wider and wider. And I really don't know when it's going to end. Okay, there's no specific beginning or ending to this. Okay, so it is going to be all real numbers. Now, the range, on the other hand, the y, we can see specifically where it begins. It begins at 2. Does it equal 2? Yeah. Does it ever get lower than 2? No. So what that means is that y is greater than or equal to 2. And then we close off with the brackets. Now, that's it for Algebra 1, or Algebra Unit 9.1 Notes. If you have any questions on anything we covered in the first or second video, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Okay? Otherwise, this is Mr. Grice signing off. Thanks for watching.